Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. I've had a few questions from students about what exactly we're doing in the, um, the chess skills uh, class, our basic fundamentals class. And I thought I would share with you a spreadsheet that I put together of our syllabus so far. And it's sort of a, it's a record keeping for all of us to basically say where we are in our um, chess development from month to month. The idea is um, we have a series of tools that we're going to be using and this spreadsheet just sort of keeps us in check as to where we are, what we're doing, and what do, where are we going, what, um, what do we want to do in the future. So this, um, this spreadsheet, like I said, it, it's something I can share with you if you are interested in joining the class. Send me an email and um, I'll add you to the roster. We have over 75 people in our club, so I just started putting some people's names um, in, um, in our roster. So um, just, let, like I said, let me know if you want to participate in the class. You don't have to be in the in-person class. You can watch a lot of our presentations online. You can participate from home, watch these online. Everything you can do uh, in the class you can do remotely. You don't have to be in person, just like a lot of our classes at college. Um, they're, um, they're remote classes, they're virtual classes. You don't have to be on campus for a lot of our classes. So same thing with the chess club. Although a lot of people do play chess in the library in person, um, you don't have to. You can play with us online on chess.com. So let's go through this um, spreadsheet. What we have here, this first section in pink, is um, first of all what is our name and I've got mine up here um, I just use me as an example so this is my chess.com uh, username and um, right next to it is my rapid rating as it is right now my daily rating as it is right now where it was when I entered it in a few days ago my puzzle rating and the membership type so I have a gold membership on uh, chess.com a lot of our students have free memberships you do not have to pay for a membership on chess.com in order to participate in our class or in our um, in our college club um, but if you do want to participate in um, for a while we had, had been lovingly calling it our master class it's not a master class it's more like a basic skills or fundamentals class um, but anyway um, you don't have to have a, a paid membership uh, to be in the class just or, or in the chess.com you can use a free membership if you like so that's this this first section here in pink who are we and where are we in our standing so that we can um, monitor where we are from month to month to month this next section in green is a uh, puzzle rush um, a lot of people um, a lot of youtubers do talk about puzzle rush I know they do in chess dojo um, Chess Dojo I do talk about quite a bit in the class. I do like what they're doing um, in terms of their cohort. Um, they have a paid program that you can uh, be a part of the cohort where you are playing games against people in your rating level. You're reading the same books, you're doing the same puzzles, you are um, analyzing games together. There's so many great things that the Chess Dojo does. Um, they do a lot of the same things that we do in our class too. So. Um, so you may see uh, some similarities between what we're doing and what other, um, you know, other chess associations or uh, chess clubs are doing. So, um, so the first thing in this green section, um, this is all puzzle rush. So we have puzzle rush at 15 minutes, and what was my top score? So I saw in three minutes I solved 15 puzzles. What was the top rating of the of the puzzles that I um, that I did? Now I just started doing puzzle rush. I don't do a lot of puzzles. I primarily play a lot of games and basically um, daily games. And what I play on chess.com mostly are three day per move games. Um, and that's a challenge for me because a lot of times, you know, I'll time out. I, I can't tell you how many times I have timed out yet in the last two or three months. It's, it's significant. And I think that has to do with my rating. It shows that my rating is low. But anyway, so in Puzzle Rush for, for three minutes, I, I did 15 puzzles. Uh, the top puzzle rating that I did was 853. Then I did Puzzle Rush again. Later that night, I was tired, but that doesn't matter. Um, I had 17 puzzles in that amount of time, and the top uh, puzzle rating was 1100. 
And then also, I do like Puzzle Rush, uh, Puzzle Rush Survival, and um, I've listed here, do Puzzle Rush Survival for 5 puzzles, then do it for 10 puzzles, then do it for 15 puzzles, and then 20. Um, so like for example, Cole, he did Puzzle Rush, um, and he completed 15 puzzles, so he checked that off. He might go back tomorrow and do 10 more puzzles, or maybe a week from now and do 5 puzzles, or maybe he'll do 40. If we do this, um, though, we will be completing about 170, 175, I can't remember the math, um, but in the month's time, we will do 175 um, puzzles. And then both these sections so far, actually it's several sections, will reset at every month. So when December comes around, I'll start a new tab. The names will be the same, the usernames will be the same, but then our ratings will change. And this will be a good way for us to monitor how we're doing from month to month to month. Same thing with Puzzle Rush. We'll be able to see how many puzzles we're solving, what's the highest puzzle rating that we are solving. And then also this these check boxes just keep us keeps us in check. Haha, <laughs> sorry for the pun. Um, in terms of what we have completed. No, I'm not sorry for the pun, that was kind of corny. All right, this next section um, is very important. I know in terms of the dojo, when I watch their content, uh, they've got a lot of great content on YouTube, so I can't um, recommend them enough to everybody, but if you can join them, um, join um, their membership. If not, watch their content like I am. Hopefully someday I will join them um, with, their, uh, with their membership. But. Um, one of the things we definitely want to do is uh, play serious games and analyze the games um, after we've played them. So this example here I'm using is a game that I played against uh, Andrew Behe. He was our last chess club president. He is a, um, a tournament player, so he is um, um, also or was a member of the Grand Rapids Chess Center. That's the name of our local chess club. Very successful club, very large club. And um, they do official U United States Chess Federation tournaments. So, um, so this is the game I played against him. Um, I can't remember what his rating is right now. Um, he does do a lot of um, competitive chess play. Um, so he does do a lot of tournaments. But anyway, so we played this game. What I did for this game is um, after we played it, we played it on a DGT board, which we have in the library um, of, of full uh, Bluetooth DGT board. We played it on the board. We imported it into um, Chessbase, I believe. Or did I use Fritz? I can't remember. Once I got the game imported, then I loaded it into chess.com. We could have used the Fritz software to analyze the game, but I decided to throw it into chess.com because that's where I use a lot of my, or I have a lot of my um, annotated games, um, my um, games that I have analyzed. And so what I did with this game is I took a look at it and I just wrote in my initial thoughts. So like, for example, Andrew Behe is our best chess player yet. Um, he is rated somewhere around 16 to 1700. I don't know if that's his official USCF rating at this time. Um, I can't, I think at chess.com he was around there, if I recall correctly. Um, he is or was now, but our president of our chess club and he is a tournament player in the Grand Rapids Chess Center. He wants to become a titled player. This was a tough game that we played on the DGT board and imported it in chess.com. This talks a little bit about, you know, my initial thoughts of it, you know, just to go through a few moves. I did go through the game. When I saw some interesting positions, I started entering notes. As you can see, I'm playing the London system. Um, that is a system I'm learning. I'm also learning the Jobava uh, London system. I'm learning several systems, but or several openings, but um, this is one that I played a lot recently. But I basically kind of go through the, the game, move by move. Um, you know, the next move, he, uh, he infiochettos the bishop on b7. And so I just basically say what I noticed. Then after I have put my initial thoughts in this game, you can see I spent um, quite a bit of time. I think I spent maybe 15, 20 minutes um, with my initial um, go through of the game, with my initial typing in my initial thoughts. Then after I did or got everything out of it that I could get out of it, then I went to this review tab, and you can see, um, you know, a lot of a lot of people like the dojo will say, you know, don't take these numbers um, to heart. You know, we're we're improving our chest. What we really need to do is look at uh, what, um, you know, our thoughts of the analysis of the game. Not so much of what the computer does, but um, but what are our thoughts? I do like to incorporate 
um, what the computer says. So I did. So after I went through my initial thoughts, wrote everything down, got as much out of it as I could, then I went through and I ran it through um, what chess.com is saying are the best moves. So um, basically, as you can see, you know what is the best move? What ch um, what chess.com is saying is the best move? They're using Stockfish, I believe, as their um, analytical software. If you have a paid membership, you can use Komodo and other chess engines. But um, for right now, I'm just using the Stockfish. I think it goes maybe 18 lines deep, more than anything that I can really take um, or understand at this level. But I, then I go through the game and I specifically look at, well, why why did I move this knight here to d2? You know, um, Stockfish is saying I should have moved the pawn up to c4. And, and then after I thought about it, I'm like, oh yeah, that is something I missed. I remember Levy Roseman, he is the um, Gotham Chess um, International Master. A great channel, by the way. Um, you know, he's always saying d4 and c4 are great partners, and um, I should have probably played that first. Um, you know, and just like I said, go through the game, and what is it that... Um, I'm going through fast. Don't go through this fast. You want to look move by move by move, but why is it that um, chess.com is saying this move by the bishop to b4 is an inaccuracy? Why is knight to c6 better? Um, try to figure it out on your own. If you can't figure it out on your own, then have chess.com have show you the moves as to why those moves are better. Um, okay, is that enough on chess analysis? Like I said, um, I think after I spent about 15 to 20 minutes with my own thoughts, then I think I spent about another 10 minutes looking at um, the chess.com's um, recommendations as to where my blunders were. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know if this is the, the best way. I know that some people, especially on the dojo, say, you know, don't pay a lot of attention at our level. Don't pay a lot of attention to the... Um, to the computer at this point we really need to analyze these things on our own we will get so much more out of it but anyway that's what i think about that um like i said i like to incorporate both let's go back to the form so again um, i'm asking everybody um try to to play some games each month my goal is to play 10 games each month will i get there probably not i have a family i have kids um i have a full-time job i'm active in my church um, you know, that all takes time away, so I can't exactly um, play as many games as I want. So, um, you know, that's part of growing up, part of being an adult. This next section. Okay, these are some videos that I have found. Um, I will populate this. Our, U our YouTube, our Facebook page has a ton of um, YouTube videos that I have found over the last few years. Um, but as we go month to month, this section, just like all the sections before it, the blue section of games, the section before that with um, with Puzzle Rush, and the section before that, which is our ratings and stuff, all of that will change from month to month. So will this, the selected YouTube videos. Um, as we go through the content for our class, I will be adding uh, selected YouTube videos that I'm asking everybody to watch. And the reason I'm asking all of us to do this together, it goes along with what Chess Dojo is doing with their cohort. Our class, um, as we do all of these um, lessons and games and um, YouTube videos and as we read our books together, when we're doing this all together we get a chance to um, to study the same things from, uh, from week to week to week, month to month, and as we progress through um, we will have a common ground of knowledge. Um, it will hopefully um, spark some interesting discussions and conversations, and that's the goal at least. So um, I'm trying not to just do reading, but also, like I said, games and um, analyses that we can discuss together, but also watching YouTube. So the three videos that I've put on here so far for this month, um, How to Learn Tactics by David Pruis. He's one of the people on the Chess Dojo. Um, I thought uh, I started watching. I didn't finish the whole thing. Um, I've seen two of them on how to learn tactics by David Pruis. I think he may have recorded these before he officially launched um, the test chess dojo with Kostya and with um, Grandmaster uh, Shoot Boomer. What the heck is his name? He's he's like one of my favorite um, favorite people. I'm blanking on his name. I'm really sorry. Um, 
can't think of it. He's wonderful anyway. So um, I would say watch this video. How to analyze your chess games. This is by um, National Master or um, uh, by Nelson Lopez. He's a, a really good YouTuber. And then also this one by Kostya. He's also from the Chess Dojo. Um, how to study from chess books. Now part of what we're doing in our class is I've selected um, a book series that we're going to read together. So um, I think in order to read a book, we need to first know how to read a chess book. You just don't sit down and read it just, you know, like a normal book. You, you know, I found that when I've been reading chess books, you have a, a chess set right in front of you and you move the pieces as the book is, is explaining the moves. Or you maybe use chess base or you use um, an analysis board on chess.com and you actually move the pieces around so that you can see what's going on as, um, as they're going through the uh, going through the book so watch those videos next um, chess fundamentals class this is the actual class that we um, have um, every week in the library this is what I'm leading as part of our um, growth of chess together that was probably a good way to say that but um, this is the content that I'm presenting to the class of what I've learned over the last 20 some years in my chess development. So um, so check these off as you attend the class or if you decide to watch them online. The next section is uh, Andrew Martin's Foxy Complete Train Yourself course. Um, I would strongly suggest buying it if you want to have your own copy. You can get a copy on um, iChess or I believe they sell it at um, House of Staunton. Um, it's an excellent series. We have the entire series um, in the library. We bought it for the students in the club, um, so it is on reserve in the library. You can um, you can watch it uh, by yourself, but if you want to um, own your own copy, I strongly suggest you buy it. It's an excellent series. Um, so we're going to be going through this, um, watch it individually, but we'll also be talking about it um, during class time. Next is um, one of the books that we'll be studying. They um, have this in the dojo. Um, I decided to get it through uh, interlibrary loan just to see what um, they were all talking about. And um, this is called um, just uh, chess, um, 5,334 problems, combinations, and games. This is what it looks like. Um, we bought a copy for the library. You can come in, you can check it out. It's on reserve. You can um, go through the puzzles in here. There's over 5,000 puzzles. And um, yeah, just uh, just read it in the library. I bought a copy for myself. I got it off of eBay. Um, you can buy a copy for yourself too, or um, um, you can get it off of Amazon. I believe they have the soft cover there for 30. Um, I think I got, I got mine off of eBay as a used copy. Um, but yeah, just... Uh, we're going to be going through this too and um, doing that as a class but something that you do on your own and like I said I, I sectioned off specific sections in the book uh, so as you go through Polgar's mate and ones there's over 300 of them in there so once you hit the first 100 check that off when you hit the next 100 check that off when you hit the next one check that off so same thing for the Polgar's mate and twos I didn't look to see how many are in there um, there's over a thousand pages in this book, so um, it's going to take a while to get through it all. And then also with the combinations. And then there's a book series that I would like us all to look at. Um, this is uh, Yasser Sarawan's um, Winning Chess series. So the first book that we're going to be reading um, is uh, Play Winning Chess. There's seven chapters in it. As you complete a chapter, uh, check it off and and we will be going through some of these chapters and discussing it during our class time so um, try to keep up and read it as you can we're not obviously going to get through all this stuff in one semester it's going to take well over a year if not longer for everybody to get through it but this just gives us sort of a way to be accountable for what we're doing in the class and to like I said motivate each other to keep um, reading and discussing stuff together. After we're done with Play Winning Chess, we're going to go on to book two, which is uh, Winning Chess Tactics, then book three, which is Winning Chess Strategies. I don't know if this is the right order that um, Yasser Sarawan um, would like us to read these in, 
I don't know if there is an order, but um, this is at least from what I can tell. We do have all seven of these books in the library. I just put them on reserve uh, today. You can come in and read them in the library. If you want to buy your own, I strongly suggest that. I'm probably going to be buying my own copy as well. Um, and we will be going through these in class as we read them. Book four is Brilliancies, which is a collection of games that he goes through to kind of reinforce all the skills that we have learned up until that point. Then we're going to be looking at winning chess openings, followed by winning chess endings, followed by combinations. So like I said, there are seven books in that series. We will eventually be get, getting through all of them. But like I said, you um, go at your own pace in terms of reading um, these books. The next one um, is another one that I saw on the dojo. They've been talking about it. This is Silman's Complete Endgame Course. Um, I want to say Kostya maybe was the person that was talking about this book. Um, I know that, um, shoot, what is his name? Boomer GM. God, he is such an awesome person, too. I love watching his videos. I'm really sorry I can't think of his name. Anyway, um, so they, they talk about this book. What's nice about it is it's broken up by, um, by rating points. So... If you're a beginning student between 0 and 999, try the, the course part 1. If you're up to um, 1200, then uh, work on um, course 2, uh, or part 2. And it's, it's separated, as you can see on the screen, it just goes up by uh, skill level. So obviously I won't be getting to the later parts of, the, of this book anytime soon, but hopefully maybe at some point I will. So that's the end game course. Uh, the next section, this is just miscellaneous things that um, I'll be populating from time to time. Like one of the first things I want us to do individually is annotate and analyze by ourselves the opera game. Um, this is a very famous game. Same thing with the game of the century, which is Bobby Fischer versus Donald Byrne. By Byron, how do you say his last name? I'm really sorry, I don't know. I'm not, a, I'm not an expert in chess. Um, that's not my thing, but I love chess, so. Um, so yeah, we will individually, uh, individually, um, like I said, annotate and analyze those games, and then we'll discuss them. Um, next, we will have um, some instructional materials that each of us completes on our own. I just completed Chess for Novices, chess, uh, which is a chess-based DVD. Um, it was really good. I highly recommend it for beginners. I don't know that I learned that much out of it because I've been playing chess for a really long time. But, um, but Sabrina Shavanis, is that how you say your name, Sabrina? Um, she presents the material in such a good way. She's an excellent teacher. I do highly recommend Chess Base um, DVDs. They're fantastic. Um, I've got, I own many of them myself. So um, that's one that, um, one that I just completed. Um, then, like I said, the students and you guys put in the stuff that you've been doing. And the idea behind that is that way I can see what you're working on, you can see what I'm working on, and then hopefully we'll get ideas on supplemental materials that we can um, all learn from. I've got another section in here for more helpful YouTube videos. And then finally, just some general, so just finally some general thoughts on how you think your chess improvement is going. So um, what I said for so far um, is when studying for chess improvement, I intend to study five hours per week, 20% each time on a video course or a, a book course, uh, play a couple of serious 20-minute games each. Is that a serious game? I, I think it is. I don't have a lot of time to play, but, you know, the chess dojo, they want their people to play real serious games at, you know, two, three hours each. I can't do that right now with my life, but um, at some time maybe. Um, also, I want to I want to analyze and annotate every serious game, and I want to do puzzles. So that basically just says what I want to do, um, what I'm focusing on, and then you can add, um, you know, your development and your ideas there too. All right, so that's basically where we're at. Like I said, if you're interested um, in the class, I, I, as I said, we have about 75 members in our club uh, as of right now. Um, that's just from this semester alone. Every uh, year we start from scratch with a clean slate and we add anyone who's interested in joining the club. Um, so if you're interested in participating in this class, either in person or online, uh, let me know and I will add you to this, um, 
this um, not curriculum it's more like a syllabus I guess or a checklist I'll add you to it and then um, we can talk about stuff as we learn it and we can talk about it together and, and try to learn this stuff together so let me know what you think add a comment if you think there's something I'm missing or we should look into um, if you're really serious about this like I said join the chess dojo they have a similar spreadsheet that they do with different um, with different areas of study, but um, our two systems are very similar. Um, but if you're really serious about it, like I said, join the Chess Dojo. Um, they look like they're fantastic, um, at least from what I see on their YouTube channel. Um, for our students and our guests, please feel free to join us as well. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, have a great day. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye.